Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel in sunny Florida as we like to introduce you to Project Porsche number two. Longtime viewers know that we have a Project Porsche for the last three years, a 986 Boxster S that we built originally for doing SCCA autocross and then has recently started doing time trial uh, track work. Love the car dearly. And uh, it came time to have another something else and we were actually looking for something to drive cross country and this particular car came available it's a 1989 porsche 944 s2 model yes that means we now have a boxer s a 944 s2 and an audi s4 <laughs> apparently we like things with s's in them but anyways this is our new project car this is the car that next week we are going to be driving from florida literally the east coast right by the ocean all the way back to Washington, literally the West Coast, right by the ocean, uh, in this. So it should be a fun time. Definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any of those updates if you really want to see, well, one, whether or not we make it, and what kind of pratfalls get us on the way. But hopefully nothing happens. Knock on some good wood here. Uh, the car is very, very well taken care of. Uh, two owner car, former PCA members, or current PCA members. Um, it's actually a past uh, parade, which is the Nationals uh, concourse and autocross winner. You can see it actually has uh, some nice Potenzas on it. Uh, and it's ready to go so we are really looking forward to driving this car it does have ac it does work actually everything in the car works it is like i said in really nice shape as you can see by the paint and the interior yes we do have black leather in the hot august sun but you know what we'll manage give you a look here and yes five speed manual of course because everything we own is manual except for the flex this is what makes the s2 so special this is the dual overhead cam three liter four cylinder that's right this four cylinder is three liters of capacity uh dual overhead cam it's 200 and something odd horsepower it, it's near as makes no difference the same power and torque as the 944 turbo just delivered in a different way obviously naturally aspirated versus having a turbo uh, on the a valve head so it's actually quite sprightly a really good power to weight ratio because of course it is super duper duper light and as you can see it is just clean as a whistle in here and obviously we're going to do our best to keep it this clean during our drive and um, when we get home we'll definitely have to do uh, a full detail on it to get it back up to snuff after the cross-country drive but yes this is what we're going to be driving for the next week so if you want to see whether or not this particular porsche is going to make it cross-country you should definitely follow along i don't have any reservations personally but let me give you just one more thing to think about 211,000 miles that's not a typo that's not wrong that is completely accurate to this car this 944 has 211,000 miles. So yeah, a 37, 3,800 mile road trip should be no big deal for her at all. <laughs> Anyways, you can see we got a whole boatload of spares that came with it in the back there. Of course, a DME relay. We already have our collector vehicle plate on it and we are good to go. So we are gonna pack ourselves up and have vacation for the next week. Um, we're gonna have some other videos. Uh, if you liked our Mad Max Supercharged AMC, you'll definitely wanna stay tuned this week. Uh, during our vacation and the next week next Monday exactly one week from now we're starting our travels the very first day is going to be going from Florida all the way up through Georgia and into North Carolina to Deals Gap that's right we're driving tail of the dragon in this car that's gonna be on day two so if you want to see all these driving videos stick along until next time that's been the plays with cars YouTube channel and project Porsche number two